Hi everyone, thank you for coming to this Pick a Card reading about blessings coming in July. Wishing you all a fantastic month. Hope you get to enjoy some sunshine if it's sunny where you are in the world. Hope you get to enjoy something amazing wherever you are. And um, yes, I hope you enjoy this reading. Just focus and relax and see which card you feel drawn to. And then click on the corresponding timestamp below the video in the description. And yeah, I hope you have a great July and speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, so if you chose bronze as your colour, your main message is to strengthen your body. But the I'm getting lots of other messages from the cards to do with what the focus is going to be in July. And the focus seems to be very much to do with finding your balance again and reconnecting with yourself reconnecting with loved ones, going through various activations within you, really finding your feet again so that by the time you get to the end of July you will be ready for a period of accelerated motion, of things beginning to move very quickly. So July feels almost as if it's like a, a huge transition period for you. So you, you're coming out of a period of introspection, a period of, of possibly pivoting, changing slightly exactly the way that you want to um, do the things that you do in the world and going through various adjustments to the way that you see the bigger picture and also various adjustments within yourself, various upgrades, various activations and you're moving into a period now where you're being asked to take the foot off the pedal a little bit and of course, it's also a Mercury retrograde for the beginning of the month, so that makes sense for, for most of us. But you're being asked to play. You're being asked to be playful, to be less focused and driven for a while. You've got the Tranquility card, so you're also being asked to take time for yourself, take time to be still. You might feel as if, oh, I've been in, in lockdown for all this time, I've done nothing but be still. But I feel if you've come to this pile, you've probably worked through the lockdown. You know, we haven't all been <laughs> doing nothing and doing uh, discovering macrame. You know, you might feel as if it's been a really intense time for you. And actually now is the time that you're going to allow yourself to just take a breather, take a break or at least give yourself a, a few days or a week or so of, of re-evaluation of just reconnecting with yourself. For, you've also got the two of cups so it's going to be a time of balance, balancing things, balancing the emotions within yourself and also balancing connections with other people. It's possible that you will be enriching a partnership at this time time because you've got the heart chakra card right next to that which is really lovely so and you've got the knight of pentacles to the left so this is something that feels very grounded in reality so this actually does feel like a physical partnership with another person it could be an emotional con connection a relationship it could be something that's in the early stages that's just developing or that's just about to be able to develop because it's been squashed before or it hasn't had the opportunity before. It could be a completely new connection coming into your life. But if it's a connection that's already in your life, I just feel it's going to develop much more richness and depth. You're going into the heart of the connection. You're going into the heart of yourself, of who you are, of who the other person is. And it's a part of the miracle of July for you. It's one of the blessings of July that there's going to be a huge healing in partnerships. And for some, there's going to be just the first tentative stages of developing a partnership that feels really good, that feels really right, that feels like something that's trustworthy. It may have been through a period of testing and now you're beginning to feel that actually maybe it could be good for you. Maybe it could be something that allows you to open your heart and expand in that area a bit more. And for some of you, yes, it, it could be a business partnership. It could be some form of alliance that's actually going to move you forward now. It's like, you know, the wheels are in motion again. Although, you know, it's not until later on in the month, later in July, that things start moving. It's like you feel as if you can have a 
gear change now rather than just revving the engines and not moving you can actually things can click into gear and start moving forward in a really nice way and you've got this help you've got a sense of balance a sense of how things can move forward realistically in a practical way you've got the steps you've got the blueprint coming together and you've got some help now or you've got some form of an alliance that you feel you can trust but you're still being encouraged to approach things in a playful way and to regain your sense of humour, to, to lighten up a little bit, to just explore opportunities to play, to reconnect with people or to just go out on your own but to go for a nice walk and, and take your time and, and sit and read a book and go for a picnic and just, you know, lighten your vibration that way because the time is coming when things are going to start moving very rapidly and one of the blessings of July, especially towards the end, is that things are going to start clicking into place. Um, where you've been waiting and things have been on hold and you've been waiting and waiting you've been patient you've been you've been watching you know the the world sort of grind to a halt and just wondering when you know when are you actually going to get to do the thing that you came here to do so you know still don't rush it feels as if this is a period of completing this phase completing it in a way that's honouring of your process, of what you've learned, of what you've been through, of what you've gained in this time of enrichment. So don't be like a horse bolting out the gate. <laughs> Just see this next step in the process as exactly that, the next phase rather than, oh, finally I'm free. Honour what you've been through. You know, enjoy the richness of what you've learned in that time and go out in a calm and tranquil way into the world. You are exactly where you need to be is a message coming through um, from another of the cards. So um, unknown territory. You're waiting to explore unknown territory or you're just embarking on something that feels like unknown territory and you're being encouraged and inspired to know that your choices now because you've had this time of reflection and contemplation your choices now are much better than the choices you would have made before the lockdown because you've had that time to appraise things to reassess things to make some slight changes that are just going to be of a much higher benefit to you um in the long term going forward you're going you've got a plan now that's going to be con a concrete plan I'm hearing something that's got longevity something that's just not going to fizzle out something that you're going to go uh, towards with with calmness and balance and maturity and you know and with a thorough plan a really clear idea rather than something that seemed like a good idea before but it wasn't you know all the pieces hadn't fallen into place yet so continue through July to see everything that you've been through in the last few months as a blessing and to plan accordingly and to take your steps in a calm and measured way to enjoy connections to enjoy play and to notice that it's actually the small simple things that are happening all the time in life that actually bring the greatest joy enrichment and growth to us okay and the bigger things when they come later they're only actually big and important because of the the grounding because of the basis the foundation that you've built and that and that they have beforehand before they take off so great you've got star bathing and crystal and star ancestors so star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation you've been going through a tremendous upgrade in this recent period you've been going through a time when you've been able to actually start reading and sensing and feeling energy feeling the energy of what's happening around you in a much clearer and more defined way and that's something else that's helped you to change your path slightly or to alter your course and to make the right decisions that you're much more aware now of when something feels right you're much more aware of of which light to move towards and and where it feels a bit heavier and a bit more shadowy and not quite right your star family is communicating with you your ancestors are communicating with you you're being guided towards, guided onto the path that you truly, truly, truly came here to express. You're being guided towards the work that you really came here to do. And so it's been really worth this time 
for you to dig deeper, to spend time, you know, connecting and um, and just becoming aware of what's happening on those deeper levels, even if you're not consciously aware of it, even if you're someone who would say, you know, you're you're still waking up or you're, you know, this sounds a bit, doesn't sound quite right to you. Just know that there are things happening in your consciousness that are like a wake-up call, a call to action, and um, the clarion call I've just heard. And your ancestors are playing a part in this, and they are guiding you very strongly, helping you to uncover deeper wisdom within yourself, helping you even to go back and to, to awaken memories and gifts and insights from previous incarnations from past lives but know that you can call upon their help the help of your ancestors their strength their courage their light to guide you forward on this path and the blessing of july is that it seems to be a time when everything seems to come together for you all of those different factors your higher purpose your ancestors guiding you and your connection with the stars and with your star family some of you will actually be astrologers actually because the stars seem to be very prominent here and um, you know the enrichment of relationships finding the right connections taking time to play and then suddenly whoosh this period of accelerated motion where you finally allow yourself to go forward now remember it's up to you to allow yourself to go forward it's not going to happen without your permission and without your input and your effort but that's really what's lining up for you right now and a big heart opening that allows you to trust life again and to go forward to trust life and to more than more importantly than anything to trust yourself and go forward on your journey to know that whatever happens you're going to be okay okay that's it group number one the bronze group strengthen your body we didn't even mention that but you know obviously that's a part of all of this because to build a firm foundation for anything at all right now you need to make sure that your body's strong that you're keeping your core very strong my attention's being drawn to the core you know do whatever you exercises you do whatever workout routines you do that help you to keep your 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 core strong because this gives you more strength emotionally and mentally it brings back your optimism it makes you feel as if you can take on the world as if you can do anything so that is a part of your foundation that you've been building some of you have been doing you know quarantine training you've been you know while you were in lockdown you kept up with those physical fitness routines or you maintained the routines you had before and that's going to help you to go forward as well and that's absolutely brilliant and that's right next to the card of you are exactly where you need to be so for some of you you're exactly where you need to be physically don't hold back because you don't feel that you're quite in shape yet or you've quite managed to you know don't let anything stop you because you can play catch up later or start now okay but your physical fitness is really important at this point because it will help you to feel strong as you go forward into the future have a great july everyone and take care and we'll speak again soon bye Okay, if you chose Violet, your overall message is to create a balanced life. And these cards are really interesting. You've got a lot of cards that are to do with um, trusting, the timing, waiting. You've got a lot of cards that are <laughs> connected to timing. And the messages seem almost contradictory in some way. But let's just walk through this and see what we've got. So you've got time to move on it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in so for some of you it's actually time for you to move on from a situation that's debilitating that's distressing somehow or that you've just outgrown it's just not right for you anymore and for some of you it's to do with your work life for some of you it to do it's to do with connections because you've got two cards that are to do with um You've got the lovers and you've got the two of cups. You've got spiritual union. So for some of you, you've actually had some awakenings in this period. You've had some realisations, new realisations, possibly about the connection, a connection that you're already in, possibly about a connection that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, that you didn't pursue beforehand when you had an opportunity and maybe this recent period has 
made you feel more reflective of some of the things that you didn't do, some of the chances that you didn't take, some of the times that you didn't allow yourself to let someone in. So the blessing of July is going to be that you start to open yourself up to the truth of your life, that you start to open yourself up to the possibility of a connection as well. And it's possible that things are going to move quite quickly, actually, once you do. For some of you, this is definitely a message to initiate something. And for some of you, this is just about choices in general. So, you know, take it however it resonates for you. Um, you're being asked to trust the timing of things. and But you've ne next to that, you've got weight. <laughs> So it's not yet time. Things are being woven. So for some of you and some of you will be nodding and you'll you'll be totally aware that that's the case, that you can't rush into this, whatever this is, this new thing, new venture, new connection, that you still have to wait a little bit longer until you're absolutely certain or rather until you're absolutely ready um, and trust divine timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. You're not running out of time if this is a really divine union or if this is absolutely your divine life path. It's not going to go away because it's what you came here for. You came here to express through that union something, you know, of a synergy or you came here to express through that life path something of who you are who you are that enriches the collective or something that you're able to channel that can only come through you to enrich the collective. So whatever it is, do not despair if it's not happening right now and if the first part of July seems to be about preparation. This seems to be a bit of a theme. The first part of July seems to be about preparation and then the third week or so, it's when things start seem to start moving for this group and then you've got ready set go now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire so this the cards the messages that you've got about waiting ah oh, this is not contradictory at all if you see it in terms of july and if you see it chronologically because it looks as if at the beginning of the month where you've got weight as your first card it's not quite right yet for things to move forward and then you're being asked to trust the timing to trust that what's yours is coming to you it's not going anywhere it's going to wait it's going to be fine it's going to be okay and then right in the middle of the month you've got the lovers you've got a choice or you've got this um, potential for a connection with someone else, the divine union. Then you've got things happening quite quickly, picking up quite quickly, picking up momentum. So you will have made a choice by the middle of the month. You'll have made a choice. If it's to do with work, you'll have made a choice. It's two, it's, you know, there are two paths in front of you. You're kind of a, a fork in the road here. And there are, there are two things that you could do, but you're not absolutely sure yet which one you're going to pursue. And once you get to the middle of the month, you're going to have a lot more certainty. Maybe once you get past that re Mercury retrograde. So let's say 12th, 13th, 14th and onwards. That's when you start to have much more clarity about going forward. It's possible that, you're, you know, some kind of a union is going to appear or is going to start moving forward in a much better direction. That's also a possibility, but that's not going to be the case for everyone. And some people will already be very committed. So just, you know, take take it the way that it applies to you. If this is about a dream or a goal or something that you've been trying to manifest for a long time, then that third week of July, I think, is going to take you by surprise because with the Eight of Wands, it's like things just suddenly pick up. Communication starts start moving again things start moving in a really powerful direction and your final card for the month is um you stand in the light of truth so you've got ready set go now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire and you've got you stand in the light of truth so by the end of july it's going to be absolutely clear to you that you know that you're on the right path 
that you've taken the right steps and that you've waited for the right for the perfect timing so you know you could almost sum this up by saying wait till the <laughs> wait till mercury goes direct before you start pursuing this but um you know obviously we can't always do that and there may be things that you can do um in preparation that actually feel like taking action but they're not actually putting you know signing on the dotted line so do as much as you can and, you know, be keep the momentum going in terms of your mental manifestation and your thoughts and your your process and your sense that, yes, it's a time of change. It's a time for things to start moving forward. It really definitely is time to move on from something or into something really good. OK, move away from indecision, move on from doubting yourself. It might be. Um, and to create balance within your life by making this shift, making this change. However, even though you keep all of that momentum, it might not be until the very last week or the last two weeks that you really start to feel that the physical change can manifest fully. But it's fine for you because you've got crown chakra. So you really are very much connecting with the divine at the moment anyway and allowing that to guide you, to guide your actions, to guide your thoughts and to move you forward in just the right way. So there's a sense of that. Seeing that in this spread makes me feel completely reassured that you've got this, that you're okay because you're allowing the divine to guide you. You know, if God's for you, who can be against you, as they say. So you're not going to make the, the wrong choice. You're going to make the right decisions but you're just not ready to to do them to make them yet or you know you're it's like you're you're there you're so 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 close but you just haven't made that final choice that's going to allow you to just push yourself forward at the end of the month but you are receiving the right inspiration so trust that and make it a regular routine to meditate every day and to connect every day so that you continue to receive the right guidance spiritual union so you know i have to come back to this because you've got the lovers and spiritual union in the same spread of only a few cards you know i think 10 cards altogether it's quite significant. So for some of you, uh, some kind of a union, a love partnership is going to be a real blessing in the month of July. So, you know, that's the the message of the cards is all about blessings coming in July. And you've got those two cards that are really strong indications of that. So either you're going to be moving into a really powerful partnership or you are going to be finding real ble this seems to be a real theme for July I have to say you know it's there is a lot of joy in July and some of it is going to be coming from those bonds some of it's going to be coming from the fact that you've realized really what's important to you and you've realized that connection especially intimate loving connection with another is really important to you and that's something that you want to heal and fix going into the future so if you've been alone for a long time and you've been really happy with that and really strong and independent and you know celebrating singledom and focusing on your career or focusing on other kinds of loving connections and and just enriching yourself and self-love and all of those lovely things you might actually be feeling now that you might be ready you might actually be ready this might be the first time in a very long time that you admit to yourself that actually you would quite like to be in a connection in a divine connection and to grow with someone and to feel um, that sense of of I don't know that sense of belonging with someone of opening your heart again perhaps after having been ex through some experiences that were quite hurtful or quite wounding or perhaps you might recognize because you've got time to move on you might really allow yourself to recognize where you don't have that in a relationship where you don't have that in a union and it might be that this is where you finally make that decision that you can no longer accept or tolerate being in a connection that isn't true that isn't in alignment with your highest, truest vision of love, of what makes a loving connection, a loving, collaborative, supportive, um, spiritual growth inspiring connection. So 
you know it, it's a great that is also a blessing it might not be great if it means that you have to end one connection to to follow your heart to follow your truth that might not feel great in the moment but essentially overall one of the blessings of July is that you are ready to stand in the light of your truth that you are ready to face that whatever it might mean and for those of you you know so so whatever your situation is in the love and partnership department July is actually going to be a blessing to you and um that's all I'm going to say yes so back to your violet which was your original the card that you chose this is all about you creating the kind of balance in your life that makes you wake up feeling good. You're not on a roller coaster ride anymore. You know, if you've been in a toxic connection or something that stops you from just knowing, you know, who you are or what you're doing or, or focusing on, on the things that matter to you, it's it's got to stop. It's time for it to end now. Your higher self is calling you to something better. It's time for you to, to end it. And if you're in a relationship that is good, that is enriching, that is beautiful, then it's time for you to let go of control, to surrender a little bit and allow yourself to, to open up to a 50-50 kind of situation where you trust someone, you know, enough. Maybe for some of you, it will be trusting someone to to take care of you in some ways. Maybe it will be trusting that you're you're allowed it's okay for you to take care of each other maybe you're someone who likes to be in control so you're always the fixer upper you're always the person who takes that caring role um so it's just a different it's just a shift whatever a shift means to you whatever a balancing out means to you that's what's going to happen and for those of you who've been alone for a long time that creating a balanced life could mean that you start to feel that that independence has actually not been independence but it's been you creating a barrier around yourself to protect you from being hurt and the balance might be that you say maybe I'm ready to let someone in now okay that's it group number two violet group have a fantastic july it's just sounds as if it's going to be really amazing take care and um we will be in touch again soon bye right okay if you chose red your message your overall message is to free yourself from pain and as i've looked at these cards i've just thought wow that is just so incredible as an overall message for for everything that's in this spread. So let's get into it in a bit more detail. So at the beginning of July, you've got conflict and defeat, and that doesn't mean that you're going to be defeated. This is about what's going on in your mind, and the way that it ends is just, it's like night and day, it's a completely different experience, or the, that's how it can go if you let it. It's up to you to change the way you think and to release yourself from that pain. It starts out with you feeling that you might not be able to achieve what you want to um, and that you might not um, be able to you know, live up to your full potential or that something that you were planning to do, you now don't have the resources to do or things have changed and oh my God, you might be thinking it's just going to be the way it's always been. Do not accept any thinking like that whatsoever because this is a time of change and the world needs you. You have at the centre of this divine magic, extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. So expect miracles. So it's complete in contrast to what you may be thinking as the month begins even around now some of you might be looking ahead and thinking oh my god you know I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that and so many things and the lockdown took this up please don't go into any of that thinking because there's so much here for you there is so much change and there is so much there is so much encouragement for you coming from the universe to step into your role you are a beacon for others. You're a beacon of light. You are a leader. You've got wise leader and you've got next to that high priestess. So I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure that out. You need to use your intuition. You need to use your intuitive gifts. You need to use your spiritual, spiritual gifts and step into your role as a leader because the world needs you right now. And 
you've also got star keeper which is <laughs> really powerful so just looking at you as a light seed you know you need to really recognize that you're here for a more divine purpose than your thinking is leading you to believe right now you need to really step into your power right now and and try to move away from those lower 3d thoughts about how things might work out or whether you're capable of doing things and making things work for you in the practical sense you've got self-employment so you do need to be working for yourself again this is your free will choice all of this sometimes i think it could sound a bit emphatic just because the cards are so powerful here and they seem to be giving you a really powerful message that's just consistent with everything you know all the cards are just working together so beautifully to give you this message having said that this is your free will choice this is just something for you to work with okay um, so you've got self-employment you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities and you've got that right next to divine magic so it's suggesting that if you trust yourself and you start to take a leap in the direction that your heart is calling you towards and that your life purpose is suggesting you need to take, you know, the, the path that you need to take. You will be supported. You will be supported because that's that's what your natural um, inclination is. That's what, what you're being called to right now. And the universe is supporting that and your guides are surrounding you and moving you forward into that path. And your intuition is moving you towards that path as well. You feel it, you know it, you sense it, you know it's time to break through the barriers, break through the confusion and the limitations that you might have had before. You know that it's time. This is the time that we came for. You know, this is what you're here for. You're here to help heal all of this and you're here to help support those who are confused or who don't see what's happening or who don't see how to heal things or how to switch up into those higher dimensions and frequencies and start to make things work and to work with the energy and you know I make it sound really easy it's you know it's like it's something we have to learn to work with but you've got a lot of secrets here that you're not sharing with the world you have access to many many gifts that you might not even be aware of but they are there you're a light seed stay grounded seed the light by staying grounded so no one's saying do anything wild, throw anything, throw everything up in the air and, and go off, you know, on a quest unless that's what you really feel called to do. There is definitely the need for an inner quest for you to go very, very deep and to connect with that divine magic within yourself and to bring it all up and out. But you do need to stay grounded because the light needs to come through you and be grounded on the physical plane. But I feel that if you've come to this reading, you're already doing that anyway. You might not describe it that way. You might not know exactly what it is you're doing, but you know that you bring change wherever you go. Surrender to the sweetness. You've got Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So, but this is a really beautiful card that suggests that it's a time for you to connect with the light through being happy, through connecting with the things that uplift you in life, the things that make you feel good. You've got the King of Wands as well, which makes me think of fiery um, creativity and joy and self-expression and, you know, being the master of, of what you're creating in that respect so there's a lot of really good stuff happening already if you've come to this spread you know some of you are already very aware of what you need to do you know what all the pieces are but you just haven't put the puzzle together quite yet so July is going to be a very very powerful time for you to do that and a big key to that is going to be where you need to let go of the pain of the past of anything that's kept you feeling small or limited or thinking small thoughts about yourself any of that kind of pain for some of you it will be about walking away from a painful situation but I'm feeling that because all the other cards are so 
clear and so aligned. I feel like that's old pain from the past. I feel like that's old childhood wounds. I feel like that's old stories that you tell yourself about who you are, of what you're capable of doing or about of why it never quite works out for you. It only works out for everyone else. That sort of story. You need to free yourself from that and trust. Or also, because it's right next to self-employment, for some of you, it could be that you've tried self-employment before, that you've tried other ventures before and they haven't quite worked out and there's still pain about that. But, you know, do I have to quote Edison with the light bulb again? I can't remember how many thousands of times he tried that thing, you know, and failed miserably. And, uh, you know, he he didn't see it as failure. He just said he'd had, you know, however many thousand attempts at getting the solution, which he got in the end. So see it that way. See this as a process, this life journey. You know, if you've tried it four or five times and you failed, that's just nothing like enough to stop thinking that you can't do it. Just tweak it. Make sure you've got the right thing. Make sure you're, you've are you found the right path. For some of you, you're already doing this, but you've just got, you know, just a little bit of reservation about it. And, you know, you need some help. You need some inspiration. You need some motivation. You need to do some more self-work or something. There's just something um, going on that's still there. But a blessing of July, because looking at this chronologically and seeing that as being the end of the month, I would say that that could be the time when you finally let go of that pain and you step into your role as a leader. So the end of July, the last week or so is going to be so important and so pivotal for you in terms of coming into your power and really waking yourself up to that that light and stepping into it and bringing others along with you on your journey. So in other words, you need to get so lit up that that light is just there like a beacon shining to others. You don't, it's not about what you say. It's not about what you say it is. It's not about how you present it. It's not about marketing. It's not about the right language. It's about you being so lit up by it, lit up with it, that it's obvious to others that you are channeling the divine and that you have something to offer and that they it's something that will help them to awaken to their own divine light, their own ability to channel that light, that wisdom. It's about you showing how it's done rather than talking about it. So I'm sorry if that doesn't, you know, resonate with you, but I feel like this really is the spread for light workers and you are being asked to step into that path and that will actually bring more balance into your life because for some of you you are already giving out an awful lot and you're not receiving and and you know you you feel there's never enough time there's never if enough energy there's never enough coming back for what you do there's never enough support there's never enough of something and it's because you're pouring out and pouring out and pouring out your magic you need to do whatever you need to do in July that's going to bring that balance back whether it's you needing to go deep inside and heal and to hold that energy in for a while and just you know focus on just having a good time yourself, taking deep care of yourself. So deep self-care, fun and enjoyment, all the things that you love that make you feel enriched and, and re-energised and allowing yourself to have that, allowing yourself to receive. And then when you step into your role as a leader, you will be able to stoke up those fires within you. You will have that light and that energy, but it's not for you to be pouring it out through a leak. It's going to be for you to channel it consciously because if you're just if it's just leaking out of you all the time because you just can't say no to anything or anyone that's really unhealthy and detrimental to your well-being and it, in the long term it impacts your ability to serve or not serve at your highest so take care take time to heal yourself, to patch up those wounds, to re-energise yourself, to get out there and have some playtime, you know, go for a walk, go for a swim, get out in the sunshine, make love to life, just love life, enjoy life, sing, dance, draw, paint, you know, just dress up, do whatever it takes to make you feel really good 
you know dress up and go out and 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 show up and show out and all that sort of thing and re-energize re-energize and re-enrich yourself and and let go of all those painful thoughts and towards the end of July you'll be really rewarded for that and you will be able to begin to serve from your highest. It's okay to say no. That is balance. I feel for this group, that is one of the things that's going to bring you balance. Just being able to say no sometimes. Okay? Self-love. Okay, that's it for you. Group number three, the red group. Free yourself from pain. Hope you have a fantastic July. Take good care. And um, we'll speak again soon. Bye.